Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. Happy Friday, folks. Don't be selling. We've got the weekend ahead of us. I'm going to be looking at a new reaction video today and giving you guys my big fat bloated opinion. I love doing it. But before I do that, make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss any videos I produce and check out the benefits of being a part of my Street Smart Swing community online. You get access to hundreds of courses, personal coaching, and all the things that you need to be able to accelerate your learning curve and reach your goals. Now, I'm excited to be taking a look at an All-Star Strictly from ILHC 2022. You guys know me. The All-Star Strictly is just as good as the Invitational Strictly. It's like a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. For those that don't know, that's pretty high. That's like equivalent to a black belt in many other arts. And so sometimes you have the all-star category outshine the invitational category, depending on how serious those invitational dancers are. And usually the default setting for the all-star is absolutely serious all the time because we are not yet in the invitational level. <laughs> and I love it. So I'm excited. I'm poised to see something good. I'm ready. And uh, I can't wait to give you guys my thoughts right after this. Live from New York, it's Saturday night. Let's go, All-Star Street League Finals. Everybody, give it up for your competitors. Give it up for the AL Builder Big Band.
about you, everybody. Fun. Oh, this one is a very complex competition to judge. Not the format, but this display of talent today is very difficult for me. In fact, the couple that I really didn't like that much somehow is my third place winner. They're still my third place winner because they, they were able to accomplish the thing I look for in the Strictly. You must show that you can do social dancing well. Obviously, most of these dancers can, but you also have to have some choreography that's mixed with your social dancing that feels a little natural. You know, it, you got to have that ability. And I, I think for me, yeah, I think it was uh, a Kemi and Bobby. I mean, I didn't even, I don't think their set was as tight as it could have been. I mean, the energy level was kind of down just a little bit. Their excitement on their face was high, but the energy level overall wasn't as high as some of the other ones but I've still got to respect the organization and structure of their performance. It was great. I mean, that's the balance I'm looking for. A little bit of social dance, a little bit of, um, you know, solo dance, a little bit of choreography. I probably, I didn't like the choreography as much as I, I did others in terms of like the solo jazz. It was a little too conspicuous in certain areas in that transition um, from solo to partner dance but I still value it. I still value it enough to say they were third place for me. Now, my second place couple, guys. This was really tough. This boils down to artistry versus craftsmanship. The couple that had the best well-rounded execution, honestly, in terms of what they did and how tight it was, I would have to go to Ari and Simon, guys. Ariadna and Simon had the best social dance execution and the best transition back to choreography. Some of their stuff was maybe not as organized well as my first place couple in terms of ideas uh, and, and freshness of the ideas, but their execution was so good. You could tell this couple works on being tight and being one unit. And I appreciated that with, with their sequences. Some of the choices, artistic choices, I could do away with, you know, maybe not my style, but I've still got to recognize the, the technical prowess of their, their delivery here, and uh, especially their second set. It has such great timing, and I appreciate that. It's just very tight and a really smooth transition between choreography and social dance. Not a lot of people have that natural gift, and I feel like they really have that. They really do. Now, guys, my first place couple is only first place not because they were better than my second place couple. In fact, I don't think they were better in terms of their arrangement of their display. Most of the things that I felt that they did was more creative, but I felt it needed to be edited better. Like there were some spots where I felt like they had some really cool moves that should have gone in different positions. And because of that, it just kind of looks like clutter. But they're still first because the ideas, the ideas at the advanced level are so much more important to me than the you know ideas at the invitational level. Because these advanced dancers, the all-star advanced high-level dancer has something unique to say. And I want more of them to get out of their comfort zone and to do something with it. Say what you want to say at this level. Because generally the next level is a level of comfort and you may or may not have to compete as hard as you should be competing at the invitational level. So guys, my first place was Lisa and Fabian. I don't, you know, I, I loved the fact that this couple has been around for a long time and I've seen the maturation of their style. People would say it's very French, it's a very French style, but that has to be put into context. I think it's a very ninjammer style. And, and what that means is there's a tight elasticity with their movement. There's a lot of quick transitions and a lot of stops and a lot of flash. They had some unique stuff, guys. It was so good. I got excited multiple times because I felt like there were certain things I hadn't seen them do before, ever. And it wasn't just like technical moves where they just move them fast with their partner and it just gets faster and faster and faster, all that. Everybody does that. Everything kind of seems over-processed sometimes. But I feel like the nuance 
and their performance stood out this time as opposed to just the technicalities. So man, that was awesome. But guys, what did you think about this one? Let me know who you thought was your favorite. Who did you think was the winner of this competition? What did you like? What didn't you like? Let me know in the comment section below. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my community online. Take care.